j'ai efficace. 1, 2, 1, 2. C'est le deuxième test avec un DB de 10. Mais c'est tout le stock de l'école, fait que je suis comme... Fait que faut pas qu'il arrive à rien. Non, oh, fait que... Pas mal beau, ça, streaming will begin to week. Fait que... Ben, moi, je suis live. Fait que moi, je peux partager le lien déjà. Il est pas là, mais il est pas dans le drop, franchement. Fait qu'il y avait les... Les segments, là. Je pense que c'est... T'es-tu connecté au Wi-Fi? Oui. Oui. Ben là, c'est ça, j'ai demandé, parce que là... Euh, parce que les autres, il faut qu'ils voient quelque chose. Je pense qu'on va faire ça pendant qu'on est deux autres. Fait que là, ils voient on vient en lui. Fait que là, je vais dire, OK, c'est quoi notre step à faire? Parce que c'est certain, ils vont dire qu'on est venu. Ben oui. Puis là, que je vais essayer des pas, mais ils vont m'attendre qu'ils m'arrêtent. Mais moi, je me demande, ça, ça a l'air de la vieille belle. Tu sais, la vieille belle qui était là-bas? Je pense que c'est la vieille belle. Ça, c'est arrivé, là, tu étais là. Tu connecté à ça, ça fonctionne-tu? Oui, D'après eux autres, c'était pas bien connecté. Ils m'ont envoyé à, à, aux deux jours, ils me disent que t'étais pas connecté. Puis là, ils disent, oui, il y a un problème. Ils sont vraiment vite. Un mois passé, un mois, une semaine passée, on avait cette même chose. Un mois passé, on avait cette même chose. Puis on n'a pas joué pour trois semaines. Il n'y avait pas de faire ça. Oui, mais c'est ici. À trois semaines, on ne sait pas, ouais. C'est ici. C'est ça. C'est pas drôle d'aller avec eux autres. Ça, c'est quoi? C'est quel, quel âge, ça? Parce qu'il a l'air un peu plus vieux, mais... C'est de voir ça. Le seul défi que j'ai, c'est qu'à cause de la musique, il y a des droits d'auteur. Fait que YouTube peut décider juste d'arrêter le streaming si tu connais les tours. Ouais, mais juste pas assez long. Euh... Mais parce que ouais. la seule affaire, c'est. Ouais. On pourrait faire ça. On pourrait faire ça, mais si jamais il y a de la musique qui joue, on peut prendre l'habitude, comme si jamais ça va nous faire un petit message d'avertissement, on pourra faire comme on mute le micro pendant ce temps-là, puis on le remet après. Ben, comme je te dis, les euh... chances sont. Les chances sont okay. que oui, on va avoir la musique, mais. On va essayer. Ok. Ok, le match aurait divisé.
Ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, welcome to uh, Clarence Rockland Arena for this afternoon's CCHL Junior A game between the Rockland Nationals and the Campbell 73s. Bienvenue à l'arena de Clarence Rockland pour ce match de la Ligue d'Hockey Junior A du Canada Central. Alors que le National de Rockland accueille les 73 de Kemville. We're coming to you on YouTube this afternoon. Uh, our usual hockey TV equipment is having technical difficulties. So uh, we want to give a big shout out to Pat Bergeron, who's right beside me. He's going to be our camera person and also making sure that we uh, stay on YouTube. Um, on vous remercie de s'intoniser YouTube cet après-midi pour cette partie. Habituellement, ça serait sur Hockey TV, mais on a des problèmes techniques avec le système de Hockey TV. Donc, un grand merci à Pat Bergeron qui sera notre caméraman et euh, s'assurera qu'on reste en onde. <rire> on va espérer. Um, Kemville and Rockland pretty well evenly matched uh, early on here in the CCHL season. Um, they've only played one game against each other, and that was a win by uh, Kemville on October 21st in Kemville, a 5-2 win. As for Rockland, they're coming into uh, tonight's game with a five win, five loss, one shootout loss record over the last 10 games. So 11 points in 11 games. And they're coming off a 4-2 loss in Brockville on Friday night. As for Kemville, they're coming into today's game with a three win, two loss record over the past five games. Their last game was Friday night in Navin where they fell 5-4 to the grads. If we look at uh, the standings in the CCHL, uh, you'll find um, Kemville plays in the Robinson division. They're currently in fifth position with an overall record of five wins, six losses, uh, three overtime losses after 14 games for 13 points. As for the uh, Rockland Nationals in the Iserman division, they sit fourth presently with 16 points after 14 games played with a record of uh, seven wins, five losses, uh, one uh, overtime loss and one shootout loss. So pretty evenly matched. The uh, hot teams in the CCHL so far this season, Smith Falls Bears, uh, have a record of 11 wins, four losses, one shootout loss uh, for 23 points, and they lead the Robinson division. And over in the Iserman division, not a big surprise, the Ottawa Junior Senator is still up there. They've only lost uh, three games uh, in regulation time. They've suffered uh, two overtime losses. So over a 16-game span, they have a record of 11-3-2 for 24 points. As for the Rockland Nationals, uh, they have uh, a few new players that have uh, come to the team over the past few weeks. Uh, first on October 13th, the Nationals acquired Lane Morenci from the Kemville 73s. So Lane will be playing his second game against his uh, former team. And he wears uh, number 16, a 2004 product from Sillies Bay, Ontario. And the other newcomer is Jonathan Swire, who was acquired by uh, the Nationals from the Carlton Place uh, Canadians Junior B program. The Nepean native spent last season with the Junior B uh, Carlton Place Canadians. He had 42 points in 35 games. And Jonathan is also a 2004 product from the Pean Ontario. He's wearing number 14 for the Nats. <coughs> And one player who's no longer with the Nats is veteran defenseman number six, Callum Kraft. The North Bay Ontario native was uh, traded earlier at the end of October to the Pembroke Lumber Kings. As we get ready for the national anthem here, teams are on the ice uh, with the uh, Nats uh, 
in their home blues. And uh, Kemville 73 is in their road whites. Hope you enjoy this uh, broadcast uh, on YouTube this afternoon. On espère que cette présentation de ce match sur YouTube vous plaira cet après-midi. Right now, our national anthem, notre hymne national. Here now are the starting goaltenders uh, for this afternoon's game. For the visiting Kemville 73s, it'll be number 31, Connor Blackwood, a native of Halifax, Nova Scotia. <laughs> and for your Rockland Nationals, number 30, Hayden Gould from Columbus, Ohio, gets the start. <clears throat> the Nats will only have 11 forwards dressed, but they have seven defensemen dressed. The uh, big loss, uh, he is injured, is captain number 19, Yannick Kreit. So not in uniform this afternoon is number 19, Yannick Kreit. So coach uh, Jeff Fox is going with three full lines, two extra forwards. And we'll see which one of the defensemen will uh, get some playing time <clears throat> up front. Right now uh, to take the opening faceoff is Patrick Lantier with... Charles Luca and Adriano Lombardo Tulo. We are underway here in Rockland and the Nats control early. Bergeron sends it deep into Kemville territory. Stop there along the boards. Battle behind the net. And it's a defenseman. Puck pops to the front of the net and uh, Connor Blackwood <clears throat> jumps on it to uh, force the face off. So Lancier will take the draw once again, loses it. Kemville high off the glass and sent to center. <clears throat> First on it was Cousineau who clears his zone. He gets it back as Kemville had to check up for a delayed offside. Bergeron in his own corner starts out, long pass to center, tipped into the Kemville zone as Rockland goes for a full change. 73 is control. Up to Lamy at center. He sends it towards the middle for Campo. Campo sends it behind the net. Gould comes out to play it. And starting out is Kyle Leonard. Cross ice pass to Xavier Laurent who gets checked hard into the end of uh, the glass there. Just inside the blue line <clears throat> in the corner battle there for the puck trying to come out with it is Kyle Leonard he sent it back towards Loka but he couldn't get a shot away and Kemville goes the other way with numbers long shot deflected and Ben Albright goes to the bench for a change after clearing his zone just underway here in period number one and no score between Kemville and Rockland Nationals. Long shot and stick save by Gould. <coughs> Sorry about that. As Hull sent the puck towards his own bench and that deflected into the Kemville bench and will uh, have the face off inside the 73 zone with 18.05 to go in the first period. 
And Zach Power will take the draw for Rockland. Sends it back, shot quickly, a blocker save. <clears throat> Puck is sent down the ice into Rockland territory. Along the boards, it's Power trying to come out with it. He loses it. The 73s had it for a moment. La Brunel. Cross ice pass. Chipped into the corner and chasing after it is number 22, Samuel Bone. The defenseman pinching in here. And <clears throat> Kemville starts out of their own zone. Another heavy check by Dostler this time. <clears throat> so the body is flying on both sides of the puck here. Opportunity here for Kemville. A nice stick there by Jan Goudreau as he stopped the cross ice pass. Kemville behind the net. No penalty on the play as Labre could have been called a brutal giveaway here by Morenci in front. And a great stick once again by the Rockland defenseman. <clears throat> Make that Dostler instead. Long shot goes wide of the net. Picked up there by uh, Gavin McDougall who kept it in for Kemville. Dostler for Rockland. Starts out at his own blue line. As Rockland goes for a change, Dostler all alone behind the net. <clears throat> At center, Bergeron picks up the loose puck. And the Nats go the other way with some speed. Here comes. Nice shot by Lancier. Just went wide. Bergeron through a screen. Puck is loose. And Loca <coughs> sent that rebound wide. Bergeron brings it back at his own blue line. Long pass attempt. Goes off the Kempville defenseman. Comes back to Bergeron in his own zone. He circles back, pass towards Luca, who is hounded there, loses the puck to Brazier, Hunter Brazier in the corner. Luca, Brazier, battling for the puck, goes around the net, Bergeron couldn't handle it. On the half boards, puck is loose. Kemville back to the blue line, in front, uh, soft deflection, which was Pad save by Gould, <clears throat> and the Nats are able to clear their zone as they go for a line change. <clears throat> Lombardo Tulo. Here comes Lantier on the wing. Tries to cut in front of the net, but was stopped there by the Kemville defenseman. Couldn't get the shot away as the 73s come out. Lamy, he gets knocked to the ice, but gets the puck inside Rockland zone. Xavier Laurent. Gives it away to Prebzel. Prebzel ahead for Leonard. He couldn't handle the pass. In the skates of Nick White behind the net. And the 73s go the other way with Noah Hull getting it out of its zone. Laurent with a nice backhand pass on the line change here for Kemville. <clears throat> they get the shot away. It went, just went wide. Prebzel shot stopped. Passes it across and a glove save off of the shot by Yan Goudreau, keeping it a 0-0 game with 14-23 to go in the first period. No score, as we mentioned. Kemville sending out fresh troops for this face-off in their zone. Power will take the face-off for Rockland, loses it. Puck is sent all the way down the ice. That should be an icing call against the 73s. <clears throat> As we mentioned, Rockland coming into uh, today's game with a 500 record. Um, over the last 10 games, they have five wins, five losses, and one shootout loss. <clears throat> so let's see if they can get back into the winning column and avenge their earlier loss in Kemville <clears throat> in the corner. It's defenseman coming out with it. Matthew O'Doherty couldn't get very far. Puck is behind the Kemville net. 
at center, dumped in by Grady Logue. Gould comes out to play it. Jonathan Swire, <clears throat> one of the newcomers with the Nats on the ice at the moment. With Labre waiting for the long pass. <clears throat> Power picks it up at center, has to chase it, lost it for a moment. And Swire sent it into Kemville's zone and went for a change right away. Kemville has to back up here as they would have been offside. 73 send it into the corner. Gould way out to play that one. Sends it back behind his own net for Lane Morenci, who couldn't get it out. Into the corner it goes. Picked up there by Ty White. He loses it. And the Nats try to get it out and to center. <clears throat> Another heavy check at center by Dosteler on defenseman Patrick Hoyan. Jan Goudreau hammers it out of the zone, comes back to him at center now. Leonard with Dosteler. Leonard jams on the brakes, lets it go, deflection, and Gould made the pad save. 73s to center, Belzeron sends it back towards Kemville zone. Luca absorbs a check and loses the puck. <clears throat> Belzeron will pick it up in the corner, but he's hounded by two Kemville players, comes back in front, and a pad save by Gould. Off of number 24, Gavin McDougal. Just in front of the Kemville bench. It's Lancy. Couldn't get the pass across, and now it's a three on two the other way. McDougal dumps it into the corner. First on it is the Rockland defender who sends it the length of the ice, and that'll be an icing call against Rockland. <clears throat> no score. Approaching the halfway mark of the first period here in Clarence Rockland. <clears throat> so the officials uh, indicating that the faceoff will be to the right of the Rockland net. Winning the faceoff there was Emile Trottier. Comes back to the point. Cross ice for Hull. Hull long shot, pad save, juicy rebound. Nobody could pick it up. Back to the point again. <clears throat> was deflected once. Hull keeps it in for Kemville along the line on his backhand goes towards the corner comes back to the front gets a good shot away and Gould made the save again Rockland uh, having trouble to getting out of their zone here they finally get it to center Dosteler in the corner <clears throat> quick shot there by Prepsel and Connor Blackwood makes the save the fifth shot for Rockland in this period. Stopped by goaltender Blackwood. So Albright takes the face off for Rockland. Ben Albright from Napanee, who came to uh, Rockland from the Kingston Gales uh, last season. One of the uh, five 20 year olds that the Nats uh, acquired during the off season. Along the boards, Leonard on his skate, sends it forward. First on it is the Kemville defenseman, kept in the zone. But a delayed offside, so that gives an opportunity to Matthew Yakubowski get it out of Kemville, Kemville territory. Along the boards, picked up there by Brady Logue. In front of the net, it's loose and once again sent the length of the ice, but on goal, so Blackwood had to make the save. No icing. Nathan Merritt left it there. Oh, O'Doherty at center. Off the glass, picks it up, sends it in front, and couldn't get good wood on it was Hunter Brazier because he was almost all alone. Brazier once again. 
Nice move to try and get through the Rockland players, but could not get the shot away to the right point. Back to Merritt here on the right. Left side, comes back to Brazier, back to Merritt. Slap shot, a nice pad save by Gould. <clears throat> and the Nats finally get it to center. Chipped into the corner by Labre as he goes to the Rockland bench for a change. Still no score with 9.14 to go in period number one. Dostler stopped just outside the Kempville blue line. Godreau picks it up and dumps it into the zone. Coming in with some speed is a shot by Swire. Jonathan Swire. The 2004 product from Nepean, Ontario. <clears throat> playing in uh, his third game with the Nats, wearing number 14. Kemville controls in their zone. Whiffed on the shot was uh, Fennel. Hull picks it up, gets it into Rockland territory. Is checked by Dostler, but gets the puck into the corner. And now Dostler stole that one. Goes behind the net, in front. A quick turnaround shot, and that just went wide. In front once again, and deflected off the stick of Savignac. So a few good opportunities here as now Kemville comes the other way. Three on two, backhand in front. Could not get the stick on it. Was number 18, Ty White. And the Nats stopped just inside the Kemville blue line. <clears throat> Jakabowski sends it behind the Rockland goal as the 73s go for a change. At center. It's Bergeron, checked by two Kemville players, gets the puck into the corner. Jakubowski behind his own net. In front, it squeezes, and a quick shot there by Lantier, but Blackwood came out uh, to the far edge of the blue paint to make the stop on Patrick Lantier, who picked up that loose puck and was all alone in front of the Kemville goal. In the skates. Another opportunity here off the post for Shaloka. So Rockland getting a few good opportunities here with 7.28 to go. Still no score. Bergeron chasing in the corner. Check there by McDougal. Picking up the puck, coming back to the faceoff area. As the puck is still loose, Nancy tries to get it. Finally, it's Bergeron over to Loka, who just backhands it into Kemville territory as the Nats go for a change. Long pass to center, just tipped by McDougal into Rockland territory. Bergeron chases it down behind his own net. Looks to start things off, leaves it there. Leonard tips it into the corner and chases after it. First on the puck is Kyle Leonard as he is checked by Matt Thomas. In front, a deflection, high stick, no, no high stick. Prepsel gets it at the blue line, directs it towards the goal. Nick White over to Leonard, he couldn't get a shot away. And the 73s now come out of their own zone. Nathan Merritt sends it into the corner and now doubles back. Falling behind the Rockland goal and picked up in front by number seven, Matthew O'Doherty. Nick White gets a stick near the uh, visor area. Was looking for a call on that one, didn't come. Prepsel behind the Rockland goal. Looks for an option as his mates are power now. Pass to his left, the center. Bone couldn't catch up to it, but gets it again. Two on one here. Bone tried the uh, pass attempt towards uh, Morenci, and he couldn't get a shot away. 
Hull for Kemville. Just gets it in the zone. It's in the skates. Who's got it? And it's finally Labre who gets it out to center for Rockland. Hull in his skates for a moment. Sends it behind the Kemville goal. Pick, picking up the loose puck is Laurent. Xavier Laurent, nice pass for Power off the top of the net and back in front. Power once again sends it into the corner. Lane Morenci on the backhand. Look, circles back, sends it into the corner, back to the point. Across for Cousinoa, deflected shot, which went off Blackwood. And now a little pressure here for Rockland. <clears throat> As behind the net, it's Morenci. Tried to come out with it was Labre. Comes back to Cousineau at the point. Cousineau, a screen shot, which goes high over the net. Xavier Laurent, deep in Kemville territory. The Nats are changing on the fly here. They keep it in. Cousineau, a nice Tip attend by Albright, but he deflected it into the netting as Ben Albright was calling for that puck in front of the Kemville goal, but wasn't able to direct it towards the net. So still no score with 4.19 remaining. Ben Albright loses the faceoff for Rockland. Kemville controls at their own blue line. Campo backhands it behind the net. Gould comes out to play it. Swire loses the puck near the boards. And able to big it up is Dostler. Dostler ahead for Swire. Swire in the corner. Gets checked as he touches the puck. And Kemville goes the other way. Ty White. Through one player, a nice shot, a glove save, but a rebound. Puck is loose, and Gould has lost his stick. <coughs> so the Rockland goaltender without a stick right now. Pass across, a quick shot, deflected off the LeBlanc skate at the Rockland defense. Now it's Kemville with some great opportunity. Another great stop by defenseman. Bradley LeBlanc, and finally Rockland is able to clear and get a change here, and Gould retrieves his stick, <clears throat> keeping it at, at a scoreless tie so far. Here's a steal by Luca, and he couldn't catch up to the puck behind the net. Going the other way is Carter Vollett for Kemville, across, in a, a beautiful opportunity for Grady Logue. <clears throat> on the right side of the Rockland goal, but somehow Hayden Gould got a stick on it and it deflected into the netting. So a back and forth affair, all tied up at eight shots apiece. Good opportunities on both sides. Logue against Lancier here for the faceoff. Lancier wins it back into the corner. Loca will pick it up at the half boards. No, he didn't. Hull sent it towards the net. Prepsel stopped it with his skate. Loca just sent it to center. And Kemville recovers. Loca once again in his own zone. To center. Towards uh, Lombardo Tulo. <coughs> O'Doherty. Sends Kemville in. And deflected off the stick of defenseman Bergeron. That also goes into the crowd. So with 2.19 remaining, face-off will be to the right of the Rockland goal. Still no score in the CCHL Junior A game coming to you from Clarence Rockland Arena. Rockland controls. Labre across the line. Tries to get a cry. Pass over to Xavier Laurent. He couldn't get a shot away. Power now has it near the blue line. Let's it go through traffic. And Blackwood, after a few uh, deflections, made the pad save. Now the battle for the puck in the corner. It squirts back behind the Kemville goal. Flip pass to center. Glove down. Kemville recovers. Emile Trottier trying to get around power. And he got the puck to the front of the net, but 
Kemville couldn't get a shot away. Hull keeps it in for Kemville. He gets it back at the blue line. <clears throat> Cross ice, shot from the blue line, which uh, Gould saw. Had some traffic in front, but had this paddle down and makes the save. With 126 remaining, <clears throat> faceoff will be to his right. With no score on the board, Rhett Palmer will take the faceoff for Kemville against uh, Kellen Dosteler for Rockland. Dosteler gets tossed out. <clears throat> So Swire loses the faceoff. Quick shot, a pad save, but a big rebound. Gould made the save. Dosteler at center. Couldn't get much going there as he was checked. <coughs> at the blue line. Swire chases after it. Picked up by Yakubowski, who sends it into Rockland territory. One minute to go in front of the net. Puck was batted out of the air and finds itself at center. <clears throat> Yakubowski at center. Just flips it forward. Prepsel picks it up behind the Rockland goal. Chips it along the boards to Locott center. Here's a break for Lombardo Tulo. Lombardo Tulo and could not get a good shot away. Flips the puck over the net. Lancier. Tulo, Lombardo Tulo to Lancier. Lancier, his shot is blocked. With 23 seconds remaining, Lancier is checked to the ice. Kept in by Cousineau at the blue line. Lombardo Tulo in the corner. Passes to Cousineau. Cousineau, a shot. It almost got through as Blackwood did make the initial save. And now there's a breakaway the other way for number 16, Yakubowski, who lets the shot go at the buzzer. And Hayden Gould makes the save as period number one comes to a close. So uh, the first period summary, uh, no scoring, but lots of back and forth action with Kemville on that final shot at the buzzer, having a 12 to 11 shot advantage over the first 20 minutes. But no score, no penalties in period number one. Après 20 minutes de jeu ici à Clarence Rockland, c'est 0-0 entre le National et les 73s de Kemville. Aucun but, aucune punition. Et Kemville qui a eu un lancé à la toute dernière seconde, qui euh, domine de un lancé, 12 lancés à 11 pour les 73s sur le National de Rockland. Hope you're enjoying this uh, broadcast on... YouTube, as we mentioned, our hockey TV equipment with some technical difficulties, but we're able to bring it to you uh, in another format. And we'll be back with second period action in just a few minutes. Uh, on vous revient avec uh, la description de la deuxième période dans quelques minutes. After 20 minutes of play in Rockland, no score between the Rockland Nationals, the Kemville 73s. You're watching CCHL Junior A action on YouTube.
Welcome back to uh, Clarence Rockland uh, Arena as we get set for a second period action here on YouTube of CCHL Junior A hockey action. No score between the Rockland Nationals and the Kempville 73s. Bienvenue à l'Arena de Clarence Rockland pour la présentation de la deuxième période sur YouTube cet après-midi. Après 20 minutes de jeu, aucun pointage entre le National de Rockland et les 73 de Kemville. Both teams had uh, good scoring opportunities. 12 shots for Kemville. In fact, they had a shot right at the buzzer, which uh, goaltender Hayden Gould handled. And both uh, goaltenders... Uh, Gould for Rockland and Connor Blackwood for Kemville had to come up with uh, some timely saves to keep it a 0-0 game after 20 minutes of play. We'll look at the out-of-town scoreboard <clears throat> in Nepean. The Raiders have a 1-0 lead on Brockville after one period of play. In Carlton Place, the Canadians and the Renfrew Wolves no score with five minutes remaining in the first period and a 3.30 start in Navin as the Ottawa Junior Senators will visit the grads. And later on this evening at 7, it'll be the Cornwall Colts in Pembroke to take on the Lumber Kings. Upcoming for the Rockland Nationals this week, Wednesday evening, they'll be in near the airport in Ottawa to uh, take on the Ottawa Junior Senators. As we mentioned, uh, the Junior Sens uh, lead the league right now after 16 games with 24 points. So a tough opponent for the Nats coming up on Wednesday night. And then next Friday, November 11th, the Remembrance Day game here in Rockland as the Nats will host the Carlton Place Canadians. The Canadians at present in third place in the Robinson Division with 15 points after 13 games. That's obviously before today's contests. As we uh, said at the beginning of uh, today's uh, YouTube broadcast, a uh, few new players with Rockland uh, over the past little while. Number 16, Lane Morenci, was acquired from the Kemville 73s. And in fact, he's playing his second game against his former teammate this afternoon, wearing number 16. And uh, number 14, Jonathan Swire from the Pian. Uh, has come over to play with the Nats for the remainder of the season. He played for the Carlton Plays Junior B Canadians last season. And he had 42 points in 34 games for the Junior B Canadians. So as we get ready for second period action here in Rockland, it'll be uh, the veteran. Patrick Lancier taking the face off for Rockland. As we mentioned, um, not in uniform for Rockland. Their captain this afternoon, Yannick Krat, who is injured. So Rockland has 11 forwards and 7 D men dressed for today's game. Ah, uh, high off the glass. Picked up by Lombardo Tulo. Quick shot, which deflects high and over the Kemville goal. Again, a shot from the blue line and. Uh, Blackwood is called upon to uh, make a few saves here early in period number two to keep it a scoreless game. <clears throat> so both coaches uh, sending fresh troops for the <clears throat> face-off here. Nancy is still on the ice with Lombardo Tulo on his right. Nancy will take the face-off, but he'll be tossed out here. And taking the face off will be, will it be Luca? No, it'll be Lombardo Tulo. <clears throat> no, Luca. <laughs> Kemville wins it. Luca almost had an opportunity for a quick shot there. Kept in at the blue line by Laurent. Behind the net, in front. Pass attempt 
by Luca, which didn't get to Lantier, was waiting for the pass. Kemville dumps it into the zone. Gould out to play it once again. At the half boards. Picked up there. An opportunity here close in. And Gould making the save. At the point. High in. Behind the net. Puck is loose. Who's got it? It's O'Doherty. Sends it to the blue line. A weak shot towards the net. Cousineau had his player covered. Logue, who was looking to deflect the puck. Lombardo Tulo dumps it into the zone, and Rockland goes for a change. Onto the ice is the line of Power, Labre, and Morenci. Inside, behind the net. Bergeron picks up the loose puck to Dosteler, who sent the puck to center for Power. He couldn't catch up to it. Power, he's got it once again in front, and he scores! Zach Power with some persistent forechecking gives Rockland the one goal lead. That's all Zach Power on that one as he did not want to give up on that puck. And Power scores his fifth of the season. That goal coming at the 251 mark. <clears throat> in front of the net, batted aside, still loose in front. And finally, the Nats just dump it 200 feet down the ice. And it'll be an icing call against Rockland, who now have a 1-0 lead. Thanks to the Zach Power goal. Persistent on the puck with Zach as he lost it for a while, picked it up again, had two tries at it, and finally... It went through the legs of goaltender Connor Blackwood. White checked at center. Leonard in front. Oh, just wide. Once again, another opportunity here as Rockland is buzzing. Albright. Lost the puck for a moment. Nick White couldn't get it in. LeBlanc, he gets it into Kemville territory. First on it is Merritt at center. Long pass to the side with speed around the defense. And now we've got some pushing and shoving between Samuel Bone and the Kemville forward. As Bone did a good job of keeping the Kemville player to the outside, who got a weak shot on Hayden Gould, who made the easy save. <clears throat> With Rockland leading one to nothing early here in period number two. Kemville from the blue line. That's blocked by Labre at the blue line again. 73s keep it in. In his skates, Lab had it, couldn't get it forward. Power sends it back to his defense partner, Bone. Bone behind the Rockland goal, looking for a long pass to Morenci, who was waiting just outside the Kemville blue line. 73s get it to center. Power lost the puck. Poked forward. As Kemville starts the other way in the corner. Number 10, Palmer. Along the boards, chipping in, and Morenci tried the pass towards Labre as he goes to the bench for a change. And now the 73s on a change by the defenseman at least. Kept in uh, by Emile Trottier behind the net. 73's control to the blue line for Fennel. 
Sends it back behind the Rockland goal along the boards. With some speed was Chase Lammy trying to get that puck. Flipped way up into the air and to center and picked up by Trotsky. Brazier passes it to defenseman Hull. Couldn't get the shot away. <clears throat> At the side of the net, it's Lamy. Hull pinches in from his defense position in the corner, comes out over to Fennel. Fennel, cross ice, and that one just missed. Brazier, a quick shot, which was steered wide by Gould. <clears throat> and the Nats still can't get it out. Along the boards, Kemville in the skates, and it's finally flipped to center, and now there's a race for it, Lombardo Tulo. And Merritt. Pass to center, cut off there by Xavier Laurent. He had to wait before going into the zone. A high flip pass, which Blackwood steered aside. The Nats control. Pass w shot way wide as Gaudreau keeps it in at the blue line. <clears throat> Luca couldn't get anything going. Xavier Laurent stops Lancier now. Dumps it towards the corner. Lombardo Tulo after it. Back to the point. Quick shot, which is deflected wide <clears throat> off the stick of Gaudreau. Loose puck picked up here by Swire. In the skates. Puck squirts to center. Xavier Laurent loses his footing. Merritt picks up the puck. A long shot. Blocker save. Swire loses the puck. Merritt behind the net. And his pass was cut off. As Rockland goes the other way. Swire backhands it into the corner. Dostler after it. Dostler fighting for the puck along the boards. It's Vollett and Dostler. Finally, a shot goes off the glass and into the seating area. So we'll have a face-off in Kempville territory with 13.09 to go in the second period and Rockland with a 1-0 lead thanks to the Zach Power goal at 2.51. The Nats behind the net. In front, White! And he shoots it high and wide. Battle along the boards near the blue line. Bergeron, along with two Kemville players. At the blue line, no offside. Yes, there is a delayed offside. So Kemville has to check up here. So an unassisted goal by Zach Power has given Rockland the one goal lead here in period number two. Deflected towards the goal. Blackwood steers it to his left. Kept in at the blue line by Lancy. Backhand shot by White. He scores! Nick White with a beautiful backhand pass. Gives Rockland a 2-0 lead. So Lancier kept the puck in at the blue line. And Nick White went into the red area, scoring his 11th goal of the season to give Rockland a 2-0 lead. Kemville in the corner, controlling the puck along the boards. <coughs> Squirts loose, a quick shot, goes wide. And missing on the rebound was Lamy in the corner. Lamy along with Trottier. 
Puck comes outside the zone. And having to chase it down is Matt Thomas in his own zone. Behind the net. Picked up. Loose puck in front. Quick shot. Second shot. It's still loose. And Lotzi couldn't get a stick on it. As a brutal giveaway behind their own net. Almost cost Kemville another goal. Lotzi. Cross ice. And a diving stop by number 20. And now we've got a very solid hit here by number 22, Samuel Bone. No penalty on the play as the play continues in Rockland territory. Lombardo Tulo at center. Simply dumps it into the corner as they go for a full line change. Rockland does. Fennel behind his own net. Almost loses the puck. Chips it forward. Merritt sends it cross ice to O'Doherty. He's checked. And picked up behind their own net by Rockland. Coming out with speed is Albright. Stopped at the blue line and going the other way is Logue. Logue, quick pass, nice back check there by Xavier Laurent as the Nats go the other way. In front of the net, it's deflected off a skate and Blackwood steered down the side. Logue sends it along the boards, stopped there by Godreau who sends it back behind Kemville net. Once again, kept in at the blue line by Cousineau. Noah Hull behind his own net, starting out for Kemville, decides to go back behind the net and restart things. Hull at his own blue line, a chip pass forward as Kemville was on a change. Battle just in front of the Kemville bench. And it's Prepsel in his own zone, a backhand pass. Now to center. Swire sends it in behind Kemville net. Gavin McDougall flips it into Rockland territory. High off the glass, not out. As uh, McDougall is taken into the boards. Loses his stick momentarily and now chases after the puck. Four players digging for it. Squirts loose. Uh, and picked up by Dostler, who gets checked hard, but was able to get it into neutral ice. Kemville. Hemmed in in their own zone at the moment. Rockland controls. On this side here for Bergeron, who sends it into Kemville territory. <clears throat> Along the boards. Tyler Kelly couldn't get it out. Finally, hard off the boards was Jakubowski, but Lancier chases it down at the half boards inside of Kemville territory. Bergeron keeps it in, backhands it into the corner. First on it will be defenseman Jakubowski. Long pass attempt for number 18, Ty White, who couldn't catch up to that one as he would have been sent in all alone. Cameron Bergeron tries to get it out of the Rockland zone. It bounces to center. White is offside at the Rockland blue line <clears throat> with 7.35 remaining in the second period. Rockland enjoying a two-goal lead Two to nothing here in Clarence Rockland. So Lancier and Bradley LeBlanc getting the assists on the Nick White goal. The second one, <coughs> Lancier at the blue line, <coughs> sends it towards the corner. Kemville starts out. Number 12, Sabignac just gets across a Rockland blue line. <clears throat> Lancia steals it from him. Merritt 
Sends it into the corner. Laurent was first on the puck. In the skates, almost lost by uh, Xavier Laurent, but he was able to get it down the ice and go for a change. Ken Bill starts out, deflected into the zone by Brazier. Gould comes out to play it. Behind his own net, comes to the blue line, stopped there by Hull. In front, a pad save. <clears throat> as Fennel sends it into the corner. Coming out, and a quick shot from Hunter Brazier, which just went wide. Kemville with opportunities here. Hull, his shot off of Cousineau. The Rockland defender. Kemville keeps the pressure on. Finally, Rockland has the puck, but they can't clear. They finally do. This time it'll be Morenci. Morenci cuts in front, backhand. Blackwood can't put the glove on it. And finally the puck comes loose for Labre. Labre, quick shot and a stick save by Blackwood. Labre backhanded it pass, but not able to go forward. Fennel now all alone at center as Kempville's on a change. He just backhands it into the corner. Flipped into neutralized territory. Jakubowski picks it up for Kempville. Quick pass. Volet with Logue. Broken stick there in the middle of everything. Volet. Nice back door play and finally now we've got some pushing and shoving in front of the Rockland goal <clears throat> as that one almost worked for Kemville as Grady Logue was on the back porch got the feed but couldn't beat Hayden Gould <clears throat> and a penalty here to uh, Tim Cousineau for roughing. So we have our first penalty of the game and first power play goes to uh, Kempville after that skirmish in front with 5-0 remaining. So Kempville goes on the power play here trying to get that ever important first goal. Emile Trottier wins the faceoff. Merritt at the blue line with number 16, Jakubowski. Jakubowski behind the net. Comes back to Merritt. Merritt almost loses it. Takes his time to Jakubowski, who leaves it there for Merritt. Into the corner. Cross ice. And Merritt picks up the loose puck. Behind the net is Trotsky. Back towards the blue line for Brazier. Brazier comes in. Chips it into the corner. Comes back to the point. Quick shot there. By Jakubowski, but Rockland able to clear. With 103 remaining in the Kemville man advantage. Jakubowski behind his own net. Logue waits for the pass. Back pass to Jakubowski. Comes across center. Sent in by Merritt. Gould along the boards. Kept in at the blue line. Just barely by Noah Ull. He gets it back. Over to Campo. Campo loads. Can't fire as he's got a stick in his shooting lane. He gets it back towards the blue line. Cross ice to Hull. Hull comes in. And the rebound. It's still loose. <clears throat> and Kempville not able to get a shot on net with the loose puck that was in front. And now Xavier Laurent gaining valuable seconds here with 10 seconds to go in the Kempville power play. Flip pass to Hull. Back to the point to Campo. 
over to Logue in the skates and sent down the ice. Cousineau could have had a breakaway as he was coming out of the penalty box. But he retreats to the bench and Rockland has killed off their first shorthanded situation to keep a 2-0 lead and Gould almost lost the puck behind his own net. At the blue line. It's number 17, Hunter Brazier. Sends it to Trotsier behind his own net. 2.20 to go in period number two. And Kemville trying to get a jump after not being able to get anything going on that power play opportunity. Lombardo Tulo. Quick pass to Lantier. Lantier to his left. Pass across towards Tulo. That was deflected. He tried the same thing and it deflects towards the point. At the blue line. Kept in by Luca. Who sends it into the corner. Lombardo Tulo after it. As he battles for the puck. Against uh, Trotsier. Trotsier now picks up the loose puck goes behind his own net, jams on the brakes as uh, Kemville starts the breakout with 1.28 to go in the second period. Brazier past the center. That was in the skates for Hein. Swire. Heavy check in the corner. Swire picks up the loose puck. And we've got a lead pass here. As he comes in, oh, Lonsu scores! Kellen Dostler with a great feed. Gives Rockland a three to nothing lead with 107 to go in the period. Dostler on the breakaway. And for Dostler, that's his second goal as a Rockland National this season. With a great release, makes it three to nothing for Rockland with one minute left in period number two. And puck goes up and over into the seating area. Puck is set into the Rockland bench. So uh, we'll do it all again. Inside the Kempville zone. Power at the face-off dot. Kempville controls with less than a minute to go here. Bone couldn't uh, handle the puck. Power now across the blue line. Power towards center. Loses the puck as he tried to come in. White with an opportunity from a sharp angle. And that one also deflects off a Kemville stick into the seating area. With 27.6 seconds remaining in the period. Face off will be deep in Kemville territory. Rockland enjoying a three to nothing lead. With the three goals coming here in the second period. Lancier. Loses that face off. High along the boards. Kept in by Xavier Laurent. In front for Lancier. And a quick pad save by Blackwood. Here in the dying seconds of period number two. Xavier Laurent. Cross the line. Chases after it. Is tripped up. No penalty on the play. In front, that puck, almost another opportunity with 0.5 seconds, a long shot, which was over the net. So Rockland, uh, we'll look at the shots on goal here in uh, period number two. Seven for Kemville. 
and a 10 for the Nats. So after two periods of play, Rockland with a slight edge in shots, 21 to 19. But where it counts, it's on the uh, scoreboard. Three unanswered goals by the Nationals here in period number two. First, a great individual effort uh, by Zach Power at 251. His fifth goal of the season. He uh, just didn't want to let go of that puck. Had two sh opportunities and finally got it between the legs of Connor Blackwood to give Rockland the 1-0 lead. Then a uh, beautiful backhand shot by Nick White, his 11th of the season, with uh, assists going to Patrick Lantier and Brad Bradley LeBlanc at 7.52, gave Rockland a two to nothing lead. And then finally a breakaway opportunity for Kellen Dosteler at the 18.53 mark off of a nice feed from Jonathan Swire gives Rockland a 3-0 lead after 40 minutes of play. Kemville had one power play opportunity. They could not cash in. <coughs> Donc après 40 minutes de jeu, le National de Rockland qui mène 3 à 0 sur Kemville grâce à trois buts sans riposte. Le premier de Zach Power à 2 minutes 51 secondes, son cinquième de la saison. Suivi du 11e de la saison de la part de Nick White sur des passes de Patrick Lantier et de Bradley Leblanc à 7 minutes 52. Et finalement, le troisième but de la période qui, euh, avec juste un peu plus d'une minute à jouer à 18 minutes 53, un, euh, un échappé pour euh, Kellen Dosteler qui euh, compte avec un tir précis dans la lucarne, son deuxième de la saison sur une belle passe de Jonathan Swire. Hope you're enjoying this uh, CCHL Junior A Hockey broadcast on YouTube. We'll be back with third period action in just a few minutes. Uh, on vous revient avec la description de la troisième période dans quelques minutes. Uh, after 40 minutes of play, Rockland with a 3-0 lead on Campbell. Après 40 minutes de jeu, le National qui mène 3-0. On vous revient dans quelques minutes.
Welcome back to Clarence Rockland Arena as we get set for third, third period action of the CCHL Junior A Hockey League game between the Rockland Nationals and Kempville 73s. After 40 minutes of play, <coughs> Rockland with three goals in the second period have a 3-0 lead heading into the final period of play. Re-bienvenue à l'Arena de Clarence Rockland. Pour, alors qu'on se prépare pour la troisième période de cette partie de la Ligue d'Hockey Junior A du Canada Central. Le National de Rockland qui mène 3 à 0 sur Kemville grâce à trois buts sans riposte en deuxième période. We'll check the out-of-town scoreboard. In Nepean, second period is almost over, 20 seconds left. And it's all tied up 2-2 between Brockville and the Raiders. In Carlton Place, they're almost done with just starting the second period. <clears throat> and it's all tied up 1-1 between the Renfrew Wolves and the Carlton Place Canadians. In Navin, with six minutes left in the first period, the Grads have a 2-0 lead on the Ottawa Junior Senators. And later on this evening, the Cornwall Colts will be in Pembroke to face off against the Lumber Kings. Upcoming games for uh, Rockland, as we mentioned earlier. This week, they'll be at Fred Barrett Arena on Wednesday night. That's the home of the Ottawa Junior Senators for this season. Uh, they had to move arenas because of problems with the ice surface. <coughs> so uh, Fred Barrett Arena is the place to be Wednesday night as the Rockland Nationals will uh, visit the league-leading Ottawa Junior Senators who are trailing by two goals against Navin at the moment. And then next Friday night, it's the Remembrance Day game here in Rockland. The visitors will be the Carlton Place Canadians. <clears throat> you can catch all the action on hockey TV. Today, well, we're on YouTube. A few uh, technical glitches with our hockey TV equipment. But again, a big thank you to Pat Bergeron who's doing the camera this afternoon and making sure we stay on air. Vous pouvez toujours euh, regarder les matchs sur Hockey TV, mais pas aujourd'hui. Vous êtes sur YouTube et on vous souhaite la bienvenue pour cette partie. Et à nouveau, merci à Pat Bergeron qui a fait qu'on peut vous présenter ce match. C'est lui derrière la caméra. Et euh, on se prépare pour la troisième période. The, line, the officials coming out onto the ice right now. So, uh, right now, the rookie for Rockland... Rookie defenseman Bradley LeBlanc has two assists in this game. The Rockland native uh, assisting on the second and third goals. First one was unassisted by Zach Power at 251. Nick White with his 11th at 752. And then Kellen Dostler with the third goal, his second of the season, uh, just at the 18.53 mark gives Rockland the 3-0 lead after two periods of play. Coach Jeff Fox sends his top line of uh, Patrick Lantier, Lombardo Tulo, and and Chaloka to start period number three. We're just underway. Gould behind his own net. Handles it. Sends it to the corner. Battle along the boards there. Who's got it? It's Lancier. He backhands it, but it's picked up by Trottier for Kemville. Sends it back into the corner. Loka finally gets it out of his own zone. Matt Thomas retreats behind his own net into the corner. Gets it forward to Chase Lamy. Cross ice. Quick shot deflected wide. Lamy looking for the loose puck behind the net. Now he goes to the front of the net looking for the return feed. Loka 
Great job by Cameron Bergeron to break up that Kemville opportunity. Here they come again, the 73s. Pass was too far for Lamy to handle. And Kemville will go for a change as they dump the puck in. Zach Power picking up speed from behind his own net. Dostler tips it into the corner, chases after it with Patrick Hyen. TJ White for Kemville. Handles the puck in front of the net, it's loose. Comes back all the way down and no icing on that one. Blackwood plays it along the boards. Picked up there by Ty White. He lost it for a moment. Rockland keeps the puck inside Kemville territory. Digging for it is Kyle Leonard in the corner. Comes back to Xavier Laurent for White. White couldn't do anything with it. As Albright gets checked as he touched the puck along the boards. <coughs> Kyle Leonard sent it into behind the net. Nick White. Albright couldn't handle that pass. Kicked forward by Leonard as he gets checked. Puck comes all the way back towards the blue line, kept in by Bowen, who sends it back behind the Kemville net. Squirts forward, but the 73's control. Campo, all alone, sends it behind the net. Bowen picks it up along the boards. Nick White. Couldn't get it very far as he goes for a change. Bone gives the, make that go through. A giveaway here and a great shot and save by Hayden Gould. <clears throat> As Jan Godro with a giveaway just outside the Rockland zone gave Kemville a two on one opportunity. But Hayden Gould comes up big once again. To keep it 3 0 for Rockland. Another great save by Gould right off the faceoff. Great shot by O'Doherty that Gould handled. <coughs> Kemville dumps it into the corner. Cousineau first on it. Backhands it behind his own net. Pass towards Labre. It'll be picked up by Kelly for Kemville inside his own zone. Hull loses the puck to Zach Power. Power sends it into the corner. <clears throat> Long lead pass here for number 24. All alone is McDougal. He gets a shot away, and it's another save by Hayden Gould off Gavin McDougal. McDougal was sent in all alone and got a pretty good shot away. But Gould was up to the task. Rhett Palmer. Loses the faceoff for Kemville. The Nats control. Loka off his skate. Comes back into Rockland territory. They'll try it again. Loka across the blue line. Just as he was shooting. Got the puck taken off his stick. Behind the net. Picked up there by number 27, Merritt. Who sends it forward to Rhett Palmer. Palmer checked as he crosses into Rockland territory. Lancier sends it behind his own cage as Rockland breaks out again. Lancier with Loka on his left. Lancier to Loka shoots and a save by Blackwood who uh, quickly went to his left to keep it a 3-0 game in favor of Rockland. Lob pass into Rockland territory and the puck squirts into Kemville zone, picked up there by Jakubowski with speed at his own blue line. Check there, loses the puck. Hyen retreated to get it, and this is an icing call against the Rockland Nationals. 15.03 to go in the third period, and Rockland holding on to that 3-0 lead. 
No scoring so far here in period number three. But Kemville has have had the better of this period so far. With some dangerous opportunities. The puck is loose once again in front of the Rockland goal, but not able to get a shot away was Lamy. Lamy with Trazier. Puck is sent to center by Swire. Dostler gets it in the zone, but he didn't know where the puck was. And Kemville starts out from behind their own net. Jakubowski, cross ice to Lamy. He's stopped by Xavier Laurent. Dishes it off, pad save. And Kemville going the other way. Lamy, drop pass, and that shot goes over the net. Trotsky picks up the puck, he loses it. Now we've got a tackle there, no penalty on the play. As the Rockland player is slow to get up. The other way, Kyle Leonard flips it towards the goal and Blackwood decides to put the big glove on it to stop play. And some questionable checks, we'll call it, in the Rockland zone, but no penalty on the play. Power with Leonard on his left and White on the right will take the face off for Rockland. 73's control as they start out. Hull just sends it towards uh, Vollett, who chips it into Rockland territory. Along the boards, Hull at the blue line. Let's it go! And it's deflected. Gould got a piece of it, but he wasn't sure where it went. Leonard now chips it forward. Zach Power chases it down in the corner. Backhand pass in front. And Kemville goes the other way with Logue. Leaves it there for Vollett. Vollett and a nice back check by Power. Prevented Vollett from getting a good shot away. Zach Power behind his own net. Takes his time looking for the pass opportunity. Tip towards the goal. Blackwood steers it aside. In the corner, Hull battles for it. Picking it up on the other side will be Fennel. He loses it. Puck is loose, high in the slot. O'Doherty in his skates. Finally, the puck comes to center. Goudreau gets it back at his own blue line. Two Kemville players right on him. Campo picks it up for Kemville. Tried to get into the shooting lane, but could not get a shot away. And along the boards, it's cleared and down the ice. And that'll be an icing call against Rockland. 12.35 to go in period number three. And Rockland holding on to a 3-0 lead. Three shots apiece for both teams here in period number three. Rhett Palmer will take the face off for Kemville. Wins it back to the point. Blocked there by Labre. And at center. Flipped back towards the Kemville zone. Retreating to get it is Matt Thomas. Thomas at the Rockland blue line. Tries to go through the legs of Yann Gaudreau. Checked him. Loka now with Lantier. And that was just in front of Nazi behind Lombardo Tulo, so they couldn't get a shot away. McDougal dumps it into Rockland territory. Luca at the half boards sends it to center. Jakubus Jakubowski picks it up for Kemville. He gets it back inside the line. Jakubowski coming in. Nice shot. One save. And it's still loose. Jakubowski picks up the loose puck. And Rockland finally able to clear the zone. Emil Trazzi in his own zone. Retreats. Hunter Brazier inside the line for Lamy. Lamy for Trazzi back to Brazier. To the line for Hull. Hull comes in, cross ice. 
Shot, and that goes wide off the stick of Fennel. Dostler chase it down in the corner. Blackwood way out of his net to play it in the corner. Puck is loose. It'll be Swire. Swire couldn't get a shot away. Power picks up the loose puck. Dostler behind the net in front for Swire. And he couldn't catch that one. Flip pass in by Hunter Brazier. Lammy chasing after it. And Rockland goes the other way. Prepsel as he's checked as he crosses into Kemville territory. Offside at the Rockland blue line is number 22, Chase Lammy, as he was ahead of the play. <clears throat> as Hunter Brazier was carrying the puck across the blue line. So face off just outside Rockland territory. Ben Albright with Leonard. Leonard back to Cousineau. Comes back to Cousineau. Comes to center. Dumps it into the corner. Chasing after it, Nick White. Kyle Leonard can't catch up to it. As Matt Thomas, hard off the glass. Back in the Kemville zone, but that would have been an offside. Thomas comes across. Vollett loses it, three on one the other way. Kyle Leonard, Leonard looking across, and a nice sliding save by Merritt. Prevents Rockland from getting a great scoring opportunity. Just inside Rockland territory, Cuisineau picks up the puck behind his own net. Looks for an option, goes to his left to Godreau, Godreau to Leonard, he couldn't handle the pass. Godreau sends it back into Kemville zone. Hahn, first on it for Kemville. As Benjamin Campo gets in the zone, gets checked, and there'll be a penalty on that one. It could have been a hip check, but I guess the officials decided that it was hooking instead. So uh, Kemville will go on the power play, a hooking call against Rockland's number 17, Guillaume Labre, will give the 73s their second power play opportunity of the game. It's only the second penalty of the game, coming with 9.01 remaining. So we'll see what the 73s can do here. They're, uh, Number eight is tossed out, Trotsier. So it'll be Chase Lammy to take the face off. He loses it. Behind the Rockland goal, sent all the way down the ice. Patrick Trotsier in a foot race against Connor Blackwood. Blackwood wins that one. Jakubowski starts behind his own net. At center, it's Trotsier. Cross ice for Brazier who gets it across the line, and now the 73s will set up on the power play. Jakubowski, they score! A deflection in front by Chase Lemmy. Makes it a 3-1 game. Lemmy with the deflection off the Jakubowski shot from the blue line on the power play. <laughs> and Kemville scores their first of the game with 8.32 remaining. So three to one. 73s take advantage of uh, that power play opportunity to uh, reduce the Rockland lead to two goals. Bergeron cross center, sends it high off the glass. Kemble starting out, cross ice pass to Ty White, chips it forward, gets it again, Ty White, a quick shot and a glove save by Hayden Gould, as Ty White had a great shot from almost the face-off dot, unobstructed, and Hayden Gould makes the glove save. 
on Kemville's 25th shot of the game. Emil Trotzi takes the face off, wins it for Kemville. Shot from the point, goes wide. Loose puck in the corner, comes back to the point. Hull circles back, shoots from there, deflected high above the net. Fennel for the 73s, walks the line. Hull, pass to Brazier, who got a shot away, but Gould saw that all the way. Emile Trottier gets it back in front. Brazier, and oh, he misses a glorious opportunity. <coughs> As Kemville is having great jump off of that power play goal. And they are keeping Rockland hemmed in their own zone. At center. Hunter Brazier across the line, leaves it for Lamy. That's deflected. Patrick Lantier looking for the long pass towards White. And that deflects off of Thomas's stick into the seating area. And we'll have a face-off in Kemville territory with 6.58 remaining. And Kemville with... The opportunities now here in the second half of the third period. Godreau sends it behind the net. White tried to make the pass in front for Lancier, but it's the 73s that come out with it. Vollett in the corner. Tried the pass in front for Ty White. <coughs> that almost worked. Patrick Lancier jams on the brakes. Puck is loose and chipped forward to number 19, Matt Thomas. On the other side, that was in the skates for Vollett. From the sideboards, Kemville. A wraparound attempt by Ty White. He's got it again. Can't get the shot away. Puck is in the corner, Lancier. Looking for it, it's at his feet, and now Kyle Leonard starts out for Rockland. All alone, he gets checked. All in front, coming off the bench, was Lane Morenci. Morenci, try to keep the puck in, he does. As the 73 start out. Bad pass here, Labra with a shot, and that deflects wide. And the puck comes to the side of the net. Kemville finally gets it out of their zone. Trotsky to Brazier. Brazier with a quick shot. Sticked aside by Gould. Trotsky picks up the loose puck along the half boards. At the point, it's Merritt who keeps it in. Puck is... Merritt keeps it in again. Trotsky... Finally, it's <clears throat> sent to center. Once again, Hunter Brazier sends it into the corner. He battles for it along the boards. Puck is sent behind the Rockland goal. Control there, Labre had it for a moment. And Xavier Laurent sends it back, but here comes Nathan Merritt. Merritt into the corner, gets checked by Laurent. Has the puck underneath him. Gloves it for himself. Battles for it now. He's still got it. Now he gets hammered. And the puck is just in front of the Rockland goal. And I think that uh, Merritt was looking for a penalty on that. Loka comes in. Loka avoids the check. A beautiful goal in the air by number nine. Make that number eight. Lombardo Tulo, who bats it out of the air to make it 4-1 for Rockland. Lombardo Tulo with great hand-to-eye coordination got the pass from Shaoluka with 4.15 remaining. 
And Rockland with a regains its three goal lead, four to one. Puck is high and into the netting. And for Lombardo Tulo, that is his ninth goal of the season. As he was right in front and batted it out of the air to make it 4-1 for Rockland. <clears throat> Kemville. Tried to keep the puck in, but it's Swire sends it into the corner. Adriano Lombardo Tulo with his ninth of the season, a beauty as he bats it out of the air to make it four to one. Kemville, deep in Rockland territory. They are running out of time here with 3.23 to go. Behind the net, Carter Vollett loses the puck. Flip to center, race for the puck, Swire. And checked at the last moment, but it's picked up by Albright, who couldn't get a shot away. Sent into the corner. Prepsel sends it along the boards. Nick White loses it. White recovers. <clears throat> comes to center. Sends it forward. He's got Kyle Leonard on his left. White shoots, scores! Nick White with a laser beam of a goal. To the stick side is second of the game, 12th of the season. And Rockland now in full control, five to one with 2.47 remaining. So Rockland now with a four goal lead, second goal of the game for Nick White, a laser beam to the glove side. At center, Kemville. Crosses into Rockland territory. Lancier just sends it down the ice. 73s. So unassisted Nick White at 17-13. <clears throat> Crossed into Rockland territory is Tyler Kelly. <clears throat> and now there's pushing and shoving behind the net. At the point. Looking for a shooting lane and he finds one is number 16, Jakubowski. Jakubowski keeps the puck in at the half boards. Pass, attempt was tipped. Jakubowski in front looking for the loose puck and they find it. Let's see, that could be. I do believe it'll be number six, Tyler Kelly. He found the loose puck to the right of the Rockland goal and now it's five to two with 129 remaining. So five to two, Loka across the line into Kemville territory. Carter Vollett cross ice in front of his own net. Long pass attempt for Loka, but that'll go for an icing call as uh, Cousineau a uh, little too, uh, that was a hard pass to catch in the air. So 108 to go. And Kemville is three goals down, five to two. Face off to the right of the Rockland goal. One minute to go in the third period. 
Thomas calling for it at the blue line. It won't come to him as Lombardo Tulo <clears throat> with Zach Power. Power chases down the puck, is checked off of it. Hunter Brazier now picks it up, sends it into Rockland territory. Xavier Laurent first there, gets it back in the corner. Pass inside the zone. Lombardo Tulo <coughs> back to Laurent. Loka at center. Dishes it off to the right. And a glove save off Lombardo Tulo from Connor Blackwood. Or make that off uh, Ben Albright. <clears throat> 22 seconds remaining on the clock. And Rockland with a three goal lead, five to two. Albright with Dostler and Swire for Rockland. Just outside the line, Bergeron has to wait. He gets checked as he dumps it into Kemville territory. So it looks like the uh, Nats will record a win here this afternoon. Last opportunity for Kemville, and that should just about do it as the buzzer sounds to end the game. Samuel Bone having uh, words with McDougal. <clears throat> but that won't go any further as Rockland records the win here this afternoon. So Kenville dominating that third period on the shot clock, 11 to six for a game total of 30 to 27 in favor of Kenville, but where it counts on the scoreboard, it's Rockland five, Kenville two. <clears throat> as Rockland uh, gets back into the win column here this afternoon, recording uh, their eighth win of the season. <clears throat> so they now have 18 points in 15 games. Victoire du National ici cet après-midi. In the third period, uh, Rockland with two goals, Kemville with two goals. First it was Kemville on the power play at 11.28 to make it 3-1 off the stick of Chase Lammy. Rockland <clears throat> regaining the three goal lead at 15.45. <clears throat> the uh, ninth goal of the season, batting it out of the air was Adriano Lombardo Tulo, make it 4-1. 5-1 on Nick White's laser beam on the glove hand side is 12th of the season, second of the game at 17-13. And with time running out at 18-31, <clears throat> Kemville scoring close in. Tyler Kelly getting the goal too little too late as the Rockland Nationals win this one. 5-2. Victoire pour le National, 5 à 2 sur les 73 de Camville. Deux buts de la part de Nick White lors de ce match, c'est 11e et 12e. Et aussi les autres buteurs pour Rockland, Zach Power, Dylan, Kellen Dostler, ainsi que Adriano Lombardo Tulo. Le National qui l'emporte 5-2 sur les 73 de Kemville. Hope you've enjoyed this broadcast on <coughs> this afternoon. Once again, a big thank you to Pat Bergeron for keeping us uh, on, on air <coughs> on YouTube. And uh, next game for Rockland will be Wednesday night as they travel near the airport in Ottawa to take on the Ottawa Junior Senators. Next home game, next Friday night, the Remembrance Day game on November 11th as the Nats will host the Carlton Place Canadians. The prochain match pour uh, le National, mercredi soir à Ottawa contre le, les Sénateurs Juniors. Vendredi soir prochain, match à domicile, la journée du souvenir, alors que les Canadiens de Carlton Place seront les visiteurs. Hope you've enjoyed this broadcast. Final score once again from uh, Rockland. Rockland Nationals win it 5-2 over Kemville. On espère que vous avez aimé cette euh, présentation de hockey, la Ligue d'Hockey Junior du Canada Central, la marque finale. Rockland qui l'emporte 5-2 à partir de Kemville. Good evening from Rockland. Bonsoir à partir de Rockland. <coughs>